Speaker, I rise today to emphasize the need for us all to work together to promote health and fitness for all Canadians. We're facing the terrible situation of raising the first generation of children who may not live as long as our parents did. That's why we need to improve our health level now and show our children that we can do better. This is one of the reasons why colleagues all around this House and I have worked together to create National Health and Fitness Day the first Saturday in June, this year, June 1st. Over the last few months, more than 40 towns and cities across Canada have proclaimed the day, including Half Pond, Yellowknife, Whistler, Calgary, Ottawa, and Halifax. In Ottawa, there's a cycling event planned at City Hall with national leaders. In Vancouver, we'll have a run with Olympian Ashley McIver and the Minister of Transport. We also have the strong support of Running Room and the Fitness Industry Council of Canada, which has encouraged over 500 private clubs across Canada to waive their drop-in fees for June 1st. Mr. Speaker, I thank all my colleagues from all parties who are promoting better health for all Canadians. It shows the next generation that we can work together to make Canada the fittest nation on earth. Yes, sir.